So we're going to start off with Dr. Neer. I know, uh, Dr. Neer, you're a veterinarian here in Florida at the Palmer Ranch Animal Clinic. Um, how long have you been practicing? What kind of got you, what made you want to be a, vet, a veterinarian? How long have you been doing it? I've been doing it for 29 years and 25 of them in the same town, so same spot. Wow. Yeah. So what, what made you want to be a vet? Oh, you know, I, I think I always wanted to be a vet since I was a little boy. I just uh, wanted to help animals out that were sick and hurt. So it's just uh, always been a lifetime dream, really. My daughter wants to be a vet, but she found out that she has to go to college to do that. And I'm, I'm, she's kind of second guessing it now. <laughs> Uh, listen, I never told anybody until after I was in college because <laughs> that's for the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what are some of the things? What I want to do is, you know, share. We all have a common um, denominator for those that are joining us as guests here tonight. Uh, we have all partnered together in a project that we're all extremely passionate about for our pets' health and human health. But um, Dr. Neer is a veterinarian for those that are watching that have pets. What are, what are some things that we can do for our animals to kind of help prevent disease? Well, I mean, obviously vaccines are preventative and uh, the, the, after vaccines, the best thing for dogs and cats is probably heartworm prevention, especially if it has flea and tick, you know, control in there as well. Brushing their teeth is huge, believe it or not, kind of hard to do, but it's it's really really good. How, how so? What what's that do for the animal's health? Brushing their teeth. It removes uh, the 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 plaque on the teeth, which prevents uh, calculus from growing, which starts periodontal disease and gets this long term like infection uh, going into the bloodstream at all the times, which causes a plethora of diseases and shortens life expectancy quite a bit. Hmm. No, you just, I mean, I, it makes sense. Uh, maybe I'm telling, maybe I'm telling on myself, I've just maybe cheated and tried to like, you know, give them things that help their teeth. Is that a waste of money or is that helping somewhat? You know, uh, it helps somewhat, but it's such a small somewhat. It's practically not. Okay. <laughs> I guess impression. this is going to be interesting because that little guy doesn't like to even get brushed, much less get his teeth brushed. So that's going to be interesting. It is. So. <laughs> Tell me, tell me what we can do then if we, you know, I mean, disease is disease. No, no animal is going to live forever, unfortunately. I've got a 13-year-old black lab that um, everything on this dog is perfect, but his back hips, his poor back hips are not uh, the way they should be. But what about things that we can do to prevent maybe some health issues? You know, what are their general health? What are some things we can do to help their general health? You know, there is a, uh, there's an, I like this herbal combination uh, of, uh, it's like some just regular plant herbs that activates a, um, a pathway in the dogs and pets and all mammals actually, uh, cells that makes the pets make their own anti-inflammatory drugs, their own antioxidants and their own antifibrotics. And that is huge and preventing all kinds of uh, diseases. We certainly hope so. And, and even helps with dental disease as well. And it's a lot easier to uh, give than to brush your dog's teeth as you'll find out. <laughs> so how's that different than a normal supplement? You said, you said it activates. It activates this pathway uh, called the NRF2 pathway and causes the cells to release a protein that goes into the DNA of the cells and actually upregulates a few thousand genes and downregulates others. It actually changes your DNA and allows the uh, cell to the body to produce its own chemicals. I mean, the body has the best pharmacy. It's way better than any pharmacy on the street corner. And um, of course, you're referring to the product Pet Tandem, exactly. um, which is a product that um, has come to market based on the science of a product called Pro Tandem. Um, and um, what are some of the things, you know, you, you see the real world stuff. What's, what's one of your favorite stories? I mean, like, you know, people talk about placebo, and I think that's really funny because here, let me give you a quick story. I had a guy that wanted, you know, I told him about Protandum, and uh, he calls me one day, weeks, months later. He's like, hey, I need another bottle of that stuff. And I'm like, oh, I got all excited. Like, wow, great. And I'm like, tell me what's going on. And he's like, well, I got to tell you, I've never taken the first tablet. And I'm like, you want another bottle? He's like, 
I gave it to my golden retriever and that dog is running around the house like a puppy. And he said, the dog does not know what's in the salami. So <laughs> right. there's like real proof here. Dogs don't have a placebo. So tell me from a doctor's perspective, what you've seen. Uh, I'll tell you, it was a golden retriever, the one that stands out the most in my mind. The people were actually bringing the man to, to put it to sleep for quality of life issues. And she said, and I, she doesn't like traditional medicine. She goes, unless there's some natural thing that you know of that you could give my dog, I want to put it to sleep today. And so <clears throat> I said, yep, I got something. And this was uh, like about four years ago. And five days later, she says, is it a coincidence? Or my dog is doing great. She actually hasn't ran and got toys out of her box in four to five years. And she's doing that. I can't believe it. And that dog lived over two more years uh, with a better quality of life than she was. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. And so what about blood work? Have you looked at some labs on some animals? Oh, all the time. The, we can see uh, liver enzymes are the most concrete example they can be three to five times normal mm -hmm. and within two to three weeks uh they can be half the value or all the way back down to normal it's just amazing it's amazing to see really is. that's incredible that's incredible and that supplement what's the cost uh what's the what's the retail what's the wholesale cost of that supplement well uh the the, the the retail cost of pet tandem it depends on the size of the dog and go anywhere between 25 uh to set that's the, the retail price tw uh, wholesale price anyway 25 to 75 and this is where me personally uh I, on the bigger dogs a dog over 60 pounds i just use a pro tandem because it's actually cheaper than giving the the, the large dog a pet yeah. tandem yeah there's a difference between pet tandem and pro tandem uh pro tandem doesn't have any anti i mean i'm sorry omega oils in it or creatine but you can add that as well and I think it's it's a fantastic value. Let me tell you, the the anti-inflammatory for doggy arthritis is a at least in 2014 it was a 70 billion dollar industry, and this is cheaper, way cheaper, and it's just a great value. Wow, wow. So, what was uh, kind of a closing question for you? You know, when this was brought to you, what was it that made you jump in? What made you said, "Hey, I, I, I'm in." What What is it that made you make the decision? It was this. It was this. There was a. There's a the study that actually about the NRF2 pathway that uh, reduced oxidative stress forty percent in thirty days, and then did it again the next thirty. Days. That was it for me. Uh, it's a peer-reviewed journal article, and um, I was I couldn't believe it. So real science, some concrete science was there, not just, you know, some some laboratory cooked up science. Real science was there. That's right. Awesome. Well, stay on. And there's something maybe if you want to add on later, we can. But I want to jump over to Miss Cheryl Ray. I love this lady. I've known her for quite some years. I met her down in New Orleans. That's where kind of my 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 bloodline is from. Talking about animals, right? My, my <laughs> blood is down in South Louisiana. But uh, she's up in Arkansas now. I'm over in Florida. But Cheryl Ray has a background in nutrition for animals, specifically some champion breed Dobermans. Um, and Cheryl has some insight that I love to, to share. And we've not yet got to do this on this type form. And most of our conversations, that's why we're doing this, has been in private. And I'm like, guys, let's, let's record this. Let's share this with the world. So Cheryl, thank you. Thank you for jumping on. What what is it from a person like me that just loves pets that I need to know about nutrition for our animals? What is it that's important for us to know? Well, Brandon, what we, we found out a few years ago was that um, just like human food, um, things are being put in our human foods that are starting to create issues in our health. And it's hitting things that we didn't know about, like high fructose corn syrup, and, and I can go on and on. but um the pet industry of course is not even regulated and so there are things that are being snuck into our pet foods that we weren't aware of and it started for us with a sick dog and uh her name was riley and uh through our research we found out that it was her food making her sick 
and she was allergic to it and she was causing her to itch and throw up. And um, we took it to the vet and they put her on a couple of prescriptions and um, she wasn't getting any better. Um, so finally we decided to go the holistic route and we found a vet, a holistic vet, and we changed the diet and got her off of the chemicals, but it was already too late. She had the liver damage from, you know, side effects. We all know the side effects of some, um, prescriptions out there, but, um, I gave the information of this product we're talking about tonight, um, the, ner the nerve activation to our, our, um, vet our uh, new vet, I should say, and um, in 10 days, the blood work of her liver panel had drastically changed for the better. And it was so significant that right then and there, that vet got on the computer and bought her some product because she just could not believe in 10 days how that blood panel changed. And, and that was the only thing that was done different. So. Um, you know, what, what we do, um, that brought us to owning a retail store. You know, um, we had a whole food store for dogs and it was to educate people on pet food. Because yeah, you we had a, you had a store, you had a store in South Louisiana, didn't you? Uh, a, yeah. a full blown nutritional store. We developed a retail store to educate people on pet food because just like people food, stuff's in there that we don't know about. So what's um, a good, what's a good, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to make a pitch for do certain dog foods or animal foods, but what, what, what should people be looking for when they're buying food for their animals? Like, is there some real no, no's to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I can give you three tips that will really help eliminate a lot of the guesswork. Okay. And um, so tip number one is you should never buy any dog food that contains unidentified meat ingredients. <laughs> and and they cover that up by saying uh, meat meal, meat byproducts, meat bone meal, animal fat. Um, and so you have to think to yourself, what meat and what animal, right? So that's, that's the first tip. Legally, pet food companies can actually use spoiled um, supermarket meat. They could use dead zoo animals. They could use roadkill. They can even use euthanized dogs and cats. And um, and I don't want my pet eating these things. So <laughs> I'm very selective about what we feed our dogs. And tip number two, you should never buy food, dog food that does not include the words complete and balanced, just like humans. We need a complete and balanced diet. And there's so many foods in the market that aren't complete and balanced. And then in the end, that's going to cause some serious health issues later on if that is not a balanced meal. And a third tip I like to give people when we're uh, talking is um, never buy dog food that contains excessive fat. And that's a sign the ingredients are from sources you don't want to know about. And how to tell if your dog food contains excessive fat is very easy. Um, all you need to do is divide the amount of fat Look on the back of your bag and take the amount of fat in the dog food by its protein. And the number that you get is the revealing number of the fat to protein ratio. The higher the ratio, the greater um, the fat content. Therefore, it's not always healthy for your pet. So most dog food ratios should fall somewhere between 50 and 70 percent. But you will find a lot of foods on the market today are 80 or higher. And really? so um, that, yes. And so those are three of my quick tips I usually give people when they're looking for dog food. There's also a, re a really good dog site um, that I go to that they do a lot of the guesswork out for people. And um, they, they rate these foods pretty much um, every day. They, they're constantly looking at where the sources are coming from. Guys, I don't know if y'all remember, but many years ago, there was a huge, huge recall on pet food, mainly at Walmart, but it was because the ingredients came from China and it killed literally thousands of, of animals. And so today, even though the bag might say made in the USA, that doesn't mean that the ingredients is from the USA. So those are the things that we and our family look for when we, we're deciding on what we're going to feed our pets.
Well, that's some really helpful tips. That's all things I didn't know at all. You completely educated me. So what was it that made you jump in? What was it? What was shown to you when you're like, okay, I'm in. I'm, 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 I'm joining this project. I'm going to join this company. Well, we were in the pet food store. Uh, I was working that day. My husband was actually working for Habitat for Humanity uh, after Hurricane Katrina. And um, he had an accident, a really serious uh, life-threatening burn accident. And six weeks of him being in the ICU, the, my brother seen the ABC News um, clip about this product. And he brought it to me. And uh, we didn't look at it as business. He said, this is going to help my brother-in-law. So, you know, when he got out of the hospital, we, we finally got him to take it. He didn't want to, but he didn't after about... I'd say eight weeks or so, his burn surgeon noticed a uh, accelerating healing in the skin. Now, he is one of the top burn surgeons in the country. He's retired now, but he was uh, absolutely the top in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And um, he looked at the science, and in five days, he called me. And he could, he, he's been on the products ever since. And my husband today, I'm glad to say, is doing extremely well. But what I realized in the pet store that day was he'd never work again and i thought our plan b was in place but when you're paying house note business note rv note um, your savings goes away very quickly and so i looked at this as a way not only to help pets which where my passion is but i can help people because this product is for all mammals and i seen what it did for my husband and i seen what it did for my dogs so that's why i'm on board because I have the passion to help people and pets. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I appreciate you jumping on. Stick on too. We may have some closing thoughts. Let's jump over to Mr. Bonnie Heath. Thank you for joining us tonight. He's up in the Ocala, Florida area. Is that right? You're in the Ocala area? Yeah. Yes, sir. And Bonnie um, is in the horse business, and he ha he didn't just start last year or couple years ago, uh, did you say it's a second generation business? Yeah, correct. Second generation. We've been raising thoroughbreds for about six, a little over 60 years. Tell me where some of your horses, what have been some of the accomplishments of your horses? Well, I woke up when I was uh, six years old in the uh, first Saturday of May, and my father and his partner's horse named Needles was running in the Kentucky Derby, and he won. He was the first Florida bred to win the Kentucky Derby. And... I mean, you talk about being all in. I'm all in. I, I loved it. And uh, I was, somebody asked, said, how'd you get in? I said, well, I was diseased at birth. I had no choice. But uh, <laughs> uh, we, we've had uh, some wonderful horses come through our farm. Holy Bull is another who comes to mind. And he was uh, Florida bred. He was uh, three-year-old of the year in 1994 and also horse of the year for the whole thoroughbred industry in 1994. So we've had some dandies, uh, great one winter, uh, Honor Glide. Uh, we just, uh, we've had a lot of wonderful horses that we've been around. So I, we didn't rehearse this question, but you know, it's something I've always wondered because I, I love horses. I've never owned one. Um, but where do those names come from? That's some, they got some names. Where do these names come from, these horses? They, uh, there, there are criteria that you have to go by. Needle's name actually came from the fact that he was, I had pneumonia and was uh, sickly as a youngster and had a lot of injections as a baby and they called him needles. Uh, that's where the name came from. But they come from all different uh, different areas. Some people make them pretty simple. Some of them make them a little, little trickier. So uh, 18 characters or less is what they use. And they all have common birthdays. Whatever year, all horses that are born this year will become a year old on January 1st. All thoroughbreds have January 1st birthdays. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And guys, for those that are watching this, um, I have been floored by the results that we've got uh, with horses. We've got some of the, the all-time best jockeys involved because of what's gone on uh, for them personally and their health. You know, jockeys are athletes, and sometimes they get hurt and they need – they need the best supplements they can be on. Um, but we've got trainers and horse therapists that are top in. I mean, the top in, guys. 
And so I'm excited to have Mr. Bonnie Heath on here to share with you uh, some stories. So what's uh, what's something you can share with us tonight, that uh, story? I know you said you had a story that really got your eyes open to this. Yeah, it, it really did. Debbie Crowell came to us. We've been knowing Debbie for a long time. And she's one of those equine uh, massage therapists, and, and uh, we've been knowing her for a long time. And she's one of the best in the industry. And she came to us, not the first time she came, but the second time she came around, she looked different. She looked healthier. And she showed us the ABC video. And we were in. We, we Kim and I eat pretty well. We take good care of ourselves. We exercise, and we're, we're pretty good health. But that ABC video just struck a chord with us. And we knew it made sense. That product made sense for us. Uh, five. This is almost five years ago. And it made sense for us and for our animals. But little did we know why, because three to, three weeks to the day later, our best thoroughbred mare, Miss Pangea, who was 18 years old at the time, had a stillborn foal. And she had some retained placenta and infection set in. And the next morning, it was a Saturday morning, it was Preakness morning, 2013. She has full-blown laminitis. And those of you that don't know what it is, I hope you never find out, but those that are around horses know what it is. And it's the most devastating disease that a horse can have. And pain and fever go to the hooves and usually the hooves either fall off or the bone at the bottom of the leg pokes through the sole of the foot. And it's, it's catastrophic. And Western medicine just has not done well with it over the years. Our vet came and treated her with standard Western medicine. And, and God bless Kim, my wife, because she had given our vet information about protandum and NERF2 activation ahead of time. He actually had read it. And he's standing there in a the stall after he treats her with standard Western medicine. You can see the wheels going in his head. And Kim puts a bottle of protandum in his hands and said, what about this? And he says, why not? He said, let's try it. We said, how much? He says, I don't know. He said, but I can tell you this. And remember this, too. It's important. He said, I can tell you this. He said, there's nothing in here that will hurt her. He said, you give her the whole bottle right now, nothing will hurt her. So we dosed her by weight because we didn't know what we were doing. But I take one a day. I'm 180, so she's about 1150. We gave her nine pills on Saturday, spaced them out a little. Gave her nine pills on Sunday. And by Sunday afternoon, God is my witness, she's clear-eyed. She's looking out the top of her stall. The pain basically is gone. She's nickering to her buddies out in the paddock, and she's want, she wants to live. And so fast forward to Tuesday, which was day three, and the vet came and shot x-rays of her feet, which is standard. He calls us up in a little bit, and he said, there's no rotation of the coffin bone, which normally happens. And he said, there's no sinking of the soul, which is standard. I said, Bill, you have to be kidding me. He says, no. He said, in fact, I've got to give you some more antibiotics. He said, because I only gave enough for three days. I didn't think she'd live three days. And I told him that I didn't think she would make the first night she was that bad. So three more days go by and he pulls the blood, calls us up a little bit later on. He said, hey, I got another vet that's close by. It's going to come take the catheter out of her neck. He said, her blood works perfect. So, like I said, she was 18 at the time. She progressively got better and better. Never had a shoe on during this whole ordeal, which is usually common also. The following spring, when she was 19, we took her to the breed and shed, got her in full on one cover. And as she will, in about probably tonight or tomorrow, have her third foal in the last four years. She's 23 years old. And I send pictures around of her from time to time on Facebook. She looks like she's about 10 years old. And uh, I've, I've never seen anything like it. I just have never seen anything like what she did. And uh, I'm just amazed. We use it for other things, too. We use it for non-sweaters, which is a common occurrence in Florida. Uh, no, no better for a, a horse or a dog or anything else to quit sweating than, than a human. That's not a good thing. But uh, we use it for uh, our sales yearlings and our sales weanlings to go up to Keeneland to give them focus and stamina for those horse sales up there. So... We love it. Uh, it's it's uh, and we love it for ourselves. I'm a lap swimmer, and uh, hey, I got no recovery time. I've been doing it 37 years, and and my recovery time is not a. That's awesome. That's incredible. Um, you know, I, I don't have to ask you what got you in. That story is what got you in. How could you not? Right? Like, how could you not say? I'm in. So I kind of want to wrap this up, but I want to give each of you maybe just kind of a closing uh, statement or something. Maybe you guys want to add to this. Um, you know, I know you guys have heard us talking about two products so far tonight, Pit Tandem that was designed for canines, but also Pro Tandem, which is a product that 
I consume and have been consuming for eight and a half years. And lo and behold, it uh, works amazing too for our, for our bigger animals. Dr. Neer brought that out. I've got my lab. He always around a hundred pounds and man, he, he would cost me a fortune in pet tandem. We give him a little bit of both. So that's kind of uh, what we do here. But uh, Dr. Neer, you got anything you kind of want to add to this that uh, you'd like to maybe bring some to the audience? Sure. You know, there was another study. I'm into studies. And there's another study in the National Institute of Aging, aging about uh, Pro Tandem. And it made male mice live 7% longer, females like 3%, well, average 5% longer. And that's like four years in my life. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm ready for that. I'm, you know, let's get it on. That's what. Yeah. I, uh, I read that awesome. study as well. You know, what's interesting to me about that study, Dr. Neer, is that um, in the history of the National Institute of Aging, since they've been testing supplements, since 1999, Rotandum is the only, not one of a few, it's the only supplement they have ever found to be able to increase the lifespan of their test mammals um, and reduce disease. Um, the only. So I kind of get a kick out of it when people say, oh, I take something like that. I go, well, that's interesting because I missed it. And so did the National Institute of Aging. They missed it, too, because they said there is none. There's only one that can do that. So thanks for bringing that out. I, uh, ne I'm, you're going to be our science guy. You love that science. That's awesome. Gonna, well, when the next study comes out, I'm going to call you and say, explain this to me. Okay. <laughs> do that. Cheryl, you got something you want to add in closing? Well, Brandon, you know, we're just so excited about all our products, but Pet Tandem and Pro Tandem, I'm like you. I have large breeds, and so it's cost-effective to give them the, the Pro Tandem. Um, but we're going to help so many dogs age healthy is what I like to say. We're all aging, but if we're going to age, let's age healthy. And our 11-year-old Doberman Remy, he's a champion, and he was on uh, Pro Tandem for six years. And uh, he came out of dog show retirement in August of 2017. He won select dog to the number one dog in the country, even though he had not been in the ring for several years. And the judge came out the ring and told us that he couldn't believe how well Remy was aging. And at Remy's multiple litter mates, either died of cancer or intestinal tract issues. The only difference between Remy and his litter mates is that he was, he was nerfed to activated. And uh, we're so grateful for this company and these products to uh, give us that opportunity to help our animals stay with us longer because we all know they're never with us long enough. Yeah, that's true. And with, I'm going to come to Bonnie, but before I do that, I want to mention this. For those guests that are watching this, we have so many documented before and after pictures of animals with allergies and before and after videos of animals that couldn't move that are now running. Get with the person that put you on here and just say, send me all those cool stories. I want to see the videos. I want to see the pictures. I want to see that ABC News investigative report. You guys have heard these doctors and experts talking about this ABC News report. Get the person that put you on here. Let them show you that, that link tonight. It will blow your mind. It's why I got involved, guys. My grandfather died of cancer at 56. I've already had a little bit of cancer. I, 56 is young, right? I thought he was old because I was nine when he died. 56 is young. Guys, it's unbelievable what these products can do. So, Bonnie, you got the floor last. Uh, you'd like to share one more closing thought? Yeah, uh, in the same vein that uh, that they were talking about, both of them were talking about that quality of life. Our original plan had been for a 29-year-old mare that we have had at the time, uh, very, very arthritic, could, uh, barely hobble around the paddock. Uh, we put her on one pill a day, and 45 days later, she's actually galloping across the paddock, and her last two years of life were amazing. We had to bump her to two for her last year, but she made it to 31. And the bright-eyed, uh, you know, just a happy horse for the last two years. And finally, one day, she just laid down and couldn't get up, and that was that. I mean, it was it was that uh, quick and that that abrupt. But boy, those last two years were wonderful. So awesome. That's what we got. 
But that's what it's all about, guys. Life is short and it's precious, whether it's our animals or it's our loved ones. And now you guys know of a real product with real science. The company behind it is called Life Vantage, a publicly traded company that is attracting experts like this that we had on here tonight and just health conscious people from all over the United States and world that are looking for an all natural solution that's affordable and it's here. Get with the person who put you on here and get more details. We love sharing the information. We have communities on Facebook that we can share a lot of content as well as videos. But thank you guys so much. Thank all of you, the experts for being on here tonight and sharing your, your valuable time with us. Uh, we appreciate it greatly. <laughs>